Yeah, Felipe, so many – congratulations, first of all. So many uh, close calls uh, there towards the end. How, how, was, how were those last – He's muted. You guys hear me now? Yes. Okay. Um, so, yeah, uh, I was just saying that the defense, man, they do a great job week in and week out. Last week they had a wonderful game. You know, this week they bounced uh, – didn't even bounce back. You know, they had a good game again. And uh, I think that's what football is about, man. It's a team sport. Uh, defense has our back. Offense has their back when it's needed. And uh, – they pulled through and um, got a great team win. Great. Tom. Felipe, can you put this win in perspective, um, particularly in light of all the guys you lost during the game? Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, Kim and, and Traylon, I mean, uh, Traylon, some of those guys going out early on. Um, you know, uh, I think it's just – it's really good by those guys just uh, continuing to stay involved in the game, continuing to – because those guys are really important on our offense, on our team in general. And uh, for those guys just to stay in the game and um, and be leaders like they are and and, and help others. And um, and that's difficult sometimes when you get hurt and you want to be out there helping the team, um, but you got to set – sometimes you just got to set that aside and, and you got to be a leader in the moment and, and – and help teams or help your teammates go get a win. And that's what those guys did. And um, this is just a testament to them. And um, yeah. our defense kept rolling, did a great job by those guys being leaders. Yeah. But putting the game in perspective after the hype they got last week, what, is, what this means to you guys? Yeah, uh, I mean, it, 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 it's wonderful. It's uh, one of many. Um, and it's just, uh, it's just a start, man. Uh, you know, it's a great win. And, you know, we'll celebrate. And then at the same time, next week, you know, we got prepared to go out there and get another one. That's what's the best, best thing about SEC football, man. It's week in and week out. It's not a one-week, you know, one-week season. So um, it's a wonderful part about it. We're going to enjoy it. But at the same time, get back to work next week and get a win. So go out there and get a win. That's, that's my perspective on the whole thing. Scotty. Hey, Felipe, Davion Warren probably put together the game of his career tonight. I guess, could you just talk about your connection with him and then just how critical he was in, in the in the passing game? Yeah, Davion, he does a great job, man, in practice. Um, being able to communicate with those guys is important. Being able to just talk through some of the stuff and um, in game. And uh, they, those receivers across the board do a great job of just communicating with me what they're seeing. And, and I communicate with them what I'm seeing and just that collaborative effort um, it's wonderful because at the same time, I can go out there in the next drive and we go out there and put something productive together. So, David does a great job of just communicating with me, just like the other receivers, but communicating with me what he sees, all this other stuff. And um, I was able to get him the ball. He does a great job after the catch, catching the ball, getting upfield, making people miss. Um, you know, outstanding player, even better person. So, um, you know, it was wonderful for him. Happy for him. Mickey. Felipe, how nice was it to get some of the run game going and then also you yourself being able to use your legs? Um, unlike last week, I think just, just wasn't possible. Yeah, um, you know, I think just getting the run game going and helping us out as an offense a lot. Um, and then, um, <clears throat> you know, I think the offensive line did a great job today creating those gaps. Uh, and Rakeem did a really good job. Trey did a good job coming in um, when he went down. And just always staying ready. And uh, the O-line did a great job of creating gaps, creating holes for those running backs to hit. And they hit them hard. And, um, you know, those two group of guys, O-line and running backs, they had a wonderful game, I think, in my opinion. And, um, you know, I was excited to go out there and watch them. I told you guys last week that I was excited to still just continue to watch our team grow and play and go out here and compete. And, um, you know, it's just – it's important when you're playing big teams and, and SEC football. So uh, the O-line, I thought, had a great game and as well the running backs. And they blocked and they ran the ball really hard. Troy. Did you say Troy? I'm so sorry. What's that? Yep. You're oh, up. Yeah, okay, sorry. Hey, Felipe, uh, congrats on the win, man. Um, I'm curious what you guys uh, learned from last week against Georgia and how you guys applied it to Mississippi State today. 
Yeah, I think that you, you're continuously learning, not just from the Georgia game, but throughout the weeks of practice, um, throughout those days leading up to this game, and we'll continue to learn throughout the, throughout the season. Um, you, know, you just don't learn from one game, and just because you lose, by the same time you do. And I thought that was a great job of those guys of, uh, you know, taking it and soaking it in and being able to come back out here the second half and finish the game. I thought that was really important. Game. And then um, just, you know, staying, staying involved in it, staying involved in the game, the whole four quarters, playing a four quarter game um, as a team. I thought it was really great. So um, I thought it's just, we're continually learning, continually learning as we go throughout the season. Um, as an offense, as a defense, as a team. And, um, you know, we were able to come out here and get a good win tonight. And we got to put it together and continue to, continue to get that rolling. So, Jason. Hey, Felipe, where's the offense at in the progression of just trying to figure out what you guys can and can't do when you get out there on a game? I know you work on a lot of stuff in practice, but as you kind of get into the game flow, how, how much are you guys learning about what you, where everything is offensively and what you're able to do? Yeah, I think that's. Ooh, that's kind of a broad question. Um, yeah, so I don't know exactly where we're at. I don't think that I could put a limit on where we can be or where we're at right now. Uh, like I said uh, previously, we'll you know, continue to learn, continue to grow as players, as people, and with our coaching staff and, um, and within the offense. So it's important to continue to learn and continue to grow. And I think that our offense has, uh, you know, the sky's the limit for each player, for each uh, individual on our team. The sky's the limit. We have a great coaching staff, great group of coaches that put us in the best position to win tonight and continuously throughout the week. So, um, you know, with a great coaching staff, guys on the team that are willing to go out there in, in, in meetings and pay attention and learn. And, um, you know, we have long hours and be able to continue to do that week in and week out, day in and day out. It's important. And they do that. Come out here and get a great win tonight. And then we've got to keep that going as well. So I don't know. Uh, I think the sky's, the sky's the limit, man. You know, it's just as far as these players want to, we want to go. So um, I think that's, that's the main, main thing. Bob. Yeah, Felipe, what was it like being on offense and seeing those three picks and the fourth down stops by your defense? What, what's that like, uh, seeing all that good stuff by them? Yeah, man, it had me, had me excited on the sideline. Um, those guys, like I said, they did a great job of work, Coach Odom. Coach Carter um, and, and all of those guys on the defensive side of the ball, they do a great job um, getting those guys prepared to play. And, I mean, you could tell the energy inside the locker room before the game. Those guys are prepared, well-coached, just like our offense. We're well-coached, prepared to go out there and play. And um, I think that's important. And uh, it was a great feeling, man. Those guys played their tails off tonight. And, um, and that's, you know, that's two weeks in a row, week in and week out. That's what SEC football is about. And uh, it's just an testament to them. And they played a really good, really great game tonight. And um, being able to create turnovers, being able to uh, get us the ball back, especially in crit critical situations in the fourth quarter, um, to be able to pull out that win. So, you know, those guys did a wonderful job tonight. Hutch. Yeah, Felipe, I was wondering, you, you kind of mentioned him already, but Traylon Smith, the job he did. And, and what did you see out of him once he realized that, you know, Rakeem was going to be out for the rest of the game and that he was going to be the guy? Yeah, um, I just told him, you know, just keep your head in the game because, you know, I mean, and that's every – that goes across the board because you never know when your name's going to be called. Um, just staying prepared, staying ready. And uh, Trey did a great job of that tonight. And pass pro, being able to run the ball. Um, and Rakeem – did a great job as well, being staying in his ear, being a great leader on the sideline, because that's what we needed as well. And um, that's an testament to Rakeem and as well as Trey, um, going out there, being able to step in and, 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 and run the ball hard and pass pro hard and being able to get out on the check downs when he needs to, stuff like that, man. It's just preparation throughout the week prepared him for that situation to be, a, to be able to go out there and do those things. So um, it's nothing new. I see it every day in practice, how hard he works, how hard those guys work. And um, it's just, like I said before, it's exciting to come out here and watch them play on Saturdays. So, Last one, Trey Schaap. Hey, Felipe, obviously, uh, I guess you could call it a subdued Mississippi State crowd with the way COVID is this year. What did, was the atmosphere like on the field? Could you hear the cowbells sometimes when you were on third down, center was over the football? And and then how, how exciting is that plane ride going to be back up to, uh, to Fayetteville tonight? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, good question. So, yeah, um, 
Man, uh, I got so stuck on your plane ride question. I forgot your first question. What was the first one again? It was about when the center gets over the ball, they're supposed to stop ringing the cowbells, but they, they kept ringing them. Yeah, yeah. So they were ringing them, and then at the same time, you know, you're able to turn up to a certain decibel um, inside the stadium as well. So it was, it, was, it was fairly loud, but at the same time, you know, we practiced that all week with the crowd noise and our cadence during the crowd noise. And those guys did a great job, especially the O-line. Um, being able to play under that condition, it's not easy to get a road SEC win at all. And um, for those guys to come out here prepared, ready to play, excited, um, you know, it's, it's, it's exciting. I keep on saying it, but it's exciting to watch. Uh, it really is because I know how hard it is like that. It's not easy to prepare for crowd noise. And uh, it, it was pretty loud. Those cowboy, cow bells, they're not, they're not quiet at all. So um, those guys being able to stay dialed in throughout the game and um, listen to the cadence the whole time. And then uh, to answer your second question, man, to be honest with you, I'm, a, I'm, I'm kind of afraid of planes, to be honest. And then, um, I mean, it's not that bad of a flight back. I don't know. I'm not, I don't want to get back too late, but it'll be okay. I'll, it's, it's even better with the wind, so I can say that. It won't be too bad. Thanks, Felipe.